Więc niech pan czeka na mnie tam z tyłu, dobrze? Dobrze. Hello, Johnny. Strike me, Mr. Bowman. It's good to see you. I heard you got the uh, elbow in the old A10 shovel up. Now, why should A10 put the heat on me, Johnny? Who knows? Very nice of you. Cheers. Dzień dobry panie, wie pan? Dzień dobry panu. To jest właśnie ten gość tutaj. On chce zwiać. Jakie zwiać? Jakie zwiać? Raszyński. Raszyński. Dobry. Dzień dobry. As good as my judge, Mr. Bowman. You was always reckoned straight. One of Mark's good little apples, you. Carlo Groucho. Robert. But I know you're kidding me. Anyway, I've uh, got something a bit tasty for you. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Pan jest dyplomatą, pracuje dla Polski Ludowej. No to co z tego, nie będę pracował więcej dla Polski. Albo obserwowany! Ale paszą, bo! Albo obserwowany, to jest kupę na... If I like it, price is a penny. Pan pracuje z Vivianem Angelskim. Time's changed, Mr. Bowman. Other people will paint out more now, as much as a monkey. Look, unless you can think of me a proper blagging, tooled up, faces, you know the score. Suit yourself. No to co, że jest Polakiem? Nie jestem Polakiem, no i co? Bo nie jest strajcą! Nie ma i te łapy! Już, 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 panie Lichman. Bit of business going on back there. Niech pan tutaj poczeka, ja pójdę po tym panem porozmawiam. Niech pan tutaj zostanie, my pójdziemy z tym panem, porozmawiamy na ulicy. Nie tutaj, przecież skandal się pomyśleć. Już, już, już. Pójdziemy na ulicy, bo tam... Keep an eye on Chami, Fulwin. It'll cost you a fight. Did you get done for that Wolfman show job, Johnny? Or did the Queen give you a pardon? Yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah, thanks for the job. Polish diplomats. We are all Polish diplomats here. You have no jurisdiction over us. Tell me, where is Fancy Bread? In the heart or in the head? How be got, how nourished? Let us all ring Fancy's bell. I'll begin it. Ding dong dell. Meaning not 100% accurate. I must now require you gentlemen to show me your papers. Of course. At least. I shall make complaint about this. That is your privilege, sir. Out! Please! All right, Chief. Yeah. That car can have you at the police station in three minutes. No, I must protest. I wish to speak for my embassy. All you have to do is to take six paces and get into it. Go on, mate. Political asylum. I shouldn't do that for it with you, sir. Please, take me to the British police. We're on our way, Spook. What is your name? I showed you my warrant card. Not my fault if you can't remember. Evening all.
was lying in the proverbial pool of blood, intensive care, severe concussion, and all he wanted was a bleeding monkey. Whoever walloped him must have been a big bloke. You better believe it. But you didn't clock him properly. No, he had his back turned to me. I was too busy going after Ray Chummy. Sergeant, get down to Whitehall. The embassy's making waves. And don't you slip up there, George, or they'll have your balls. Come in. Uh, Sergeant Boom. Sir? Sergeant Booman. Hmm? Oh, oh, come in, Sergeant. And how's life at the Met? Oh, bleeding rubber eels, sir. In between doing the job, I'm still on the hook, reference to the shooting incident up north. Bloke only pointed a submachine gun at me, didn't he? So I shot him. Now you think I was Lee Harvey Oswald. Oh, most unfair. Undemocratic, oh. these courts of inquiry. Yeah. So you're to be charged now with manslaughter, are you? Unlawful killing? Well, uh, they'll let me know. Oh, well, that's nice of them. Sort of damnably, eh? Yeah. Oh, Police Federation's been very helpful. You know, they said they'd pay for a brief if the inquest goes sour on me. Oh, oh good, good, good. Oh, well, good. Ah. Right now, brighter note. Ah. That was a very good thing you did last night, you know. Mm, the Minister of State asked me to thank you personally. Well, he's worth something, then, is he? That, that Polish bloke. Name of Rajinsky. Yes. Well, a very useful little defector, so it happens. I hear you had a spot of trouble from the chum of his. Got a bit naughty. Yeah, duffed up a snout of mine. And no doubt you are now sleuthing after this unidentified Polish heavy with all the tenacity of a dog at a golf ball. <laughs> they love the inside, you know. Yeah, he's gonna get a... Well, he, he's first on the list, as soon as we're done here. I mean, as soon as you and I have, have finished here, sir. Yes, but I just wanted to thank you. Bit of flack from the embassy, but HMG has a broad back. Oh, yes, and I've, uh, I've, uh, sending a note to the yard. Um, something nice to balance up your file, dear boy. Oh, that, that really is very kind of you, sir. Thank you. Not at all, not at all, not at all. Now then, Hoffman Circus. Have you ever heard of it? Uh, can't say I have, sir, no. Well, it's in um, Wales just now. And I don't know, but something that Brzezinski told us, uh, something he said, um, could be interesting. Oh, meaning I might find the Polish heavy who duffed up my snout if I take a look down there. Well, it's just a thought. And um, GBH collars as good as any to rope him into custody. I mean, provided this office can have access to him. Oh, understood, sir. Thank you very much. Quid pro quad, Sergeant. Well, Fiat Experimentum in Corpore Vile, perhaps, sir, eh? Sergeant Bullman, I trust that you've not returned to the smoke. A cynic. So I said to Jack Ketch, maybe I should take a gander at this circus, you know, see if I can't track down the chummy that duffed up my snout. And Jack gave the thumbs down. Ah, uh, it's not in a city brief. So that's it, then, eh? <laughs> Don't you believe it? I've tracked down the circus in its travels, Aberdeen, Newcastle, York. That's good thinking. And uh, travellers commit a little crime, eh? Yep. All, all over the country, which uh, which does make it our business. So what have you dug up? Housebreaking? Pickpocket. <laughs> flasher. <laughs> flash. You're a flash away. A right. A flasher. Yeah. Hardly big enough for us, George. Phantom Flasher, they call him, sir. He wears a silver Lurex cloak and, and a sort of um, a medieval helmet. It's some nutter with the circus. But he moves around too much for any serious process to work on it. Now, you know my feelings about barrigram lawyers, George. Sir? You know that I know your main interest in this circus is to do with spies behind the Iron Curtain. Now, that's a job for the branch, or five. Leave it out, George. There's plenty of practical work to do. With respect, sir, I've had a tip-off that somewhere in this circus is the bloke who crippled my snout before he could deliver a whisper that he reckoned would earn him a bob or two. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that does put Chummy in my frame. So you don't care if he's a spy or not? Oh, do me a favour, go. Leave that to Batman and Robin. OK. 
Okay. We'll open a file on this flasher. Get down there for a couple of days. There's no hurry, Jack. My hell's teeth, George. I don't understand you. If I go down there right away, Chummy will get the wind up. Let's wait till the Phantom strikes again. That way my visit will be more kosher. It could be weeks. Ah, he's at it all the time. <laughs> I'm expected by Mr. Dugdale. I'm afraid he's not back from lunch. Band practice at the club. Band? You've got a band? Practicing. It's a brass band. No, I'm sorry. It, it's, it's just that uh, I wouldn't have imagined you people low profile, you know. It's not official. They're an amateur group. They're very keen. And Mr. Dugdale? He plays the euphonium. Do you want to go down and see them? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Where? In the club. Billiard room. I'll uh, have you escorted down. Thanks. Soundproof, is it? Thanks, everybody. 219, back to work, I reckon. All right, thank you. Bill, Bill, get someone to collect the tea money, will you? All right, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Well, was that awful? I'm impressed. And we lads from the north know about brass bands. <laughs> well, civil service audition in three weeks' time. And I have uh, great hopes for the euphonium. Glockenspiel wasn't bad. Yes, but they're, they're to a penny, you know. <laughs> Um, now then, I, I will have a word with you. Have you been briefed? Yeah, no, sir. Your, your notes just said that you could use some help. Oh. Now, Bullman's defector gave us the name of a circus. He'd read it somewhere, he said, in a file. Now, my feeling are that he could be holding something back. Now, we investigated, and on too many occasions, for coincidence, this circus had set up within five miles of an EW station. EW? Early warning. Oh, oh, yes. I have all the guff across the road in my office. Oh, come on. Sergeant Bowman. Sati. Egg bomb? Which is the ghastly practice these people had of burning their wives. Ah. 
Uh, fortunately, never caught on here, ma'am. <laughs> like takeaway curry. And one would scarcely put takeaway curry in the same category as wife burning. Indeed. Although it is surprising what does find its way into the odd chicken vindaloo. <clears throat> um, how big was the man who flashed you? My dear sergeant, one didn't look too closely. Uh, I meant height, my lady. Oh. Ah, uh, very large. Bigger than Bambi. Taller? Indeed. I see. And Bambi is, um... My husband. Hmm. Would you recognize him again? My dear man, we've been married for 32 years. I believe there is a sporting charm. Uh, I meant the flasher. Indeed. Provided he was wearing a medieval helmet and silver Lurex coat. Ah. Oh. Right, thank you, thank you. Right, now, here we are. <coughs> yes, there you are, you see, third paragraph. There, th this is a classified file, sir. And? Well, shouldn't I sign something? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Just a simple flat foot. <laughs> Paragraph three. Oh, well, it, it does appear that the circus has been suspiciously close to a few of these early warning stations. Well, nine to be exact. Four completely hidden or disguised. Who plans their routes? Ah, the star of the show. An acrobat. Yet another pole. Miroslav versus Siska, the flying prince. He virtually runs things since the owner died last year. Yeah, why are you telling me all this, sir? I mean, it's hardly our squad's territory. Well, we're given to understand that your Sergeant Bullman is already in the area investigating a case of indecent exposure. Oh. <laughs> the Phantom Flasher. <laughs> but you know, and I know, that the good Sergeant's real interest is in nicking the man our detective was with in the pub last night. Oh, the one who half-killed Johnny James? Quite. So we might assume that very soon, D-23 will have moved in on Hoffman's circus. The Hoffman's? Well, that's the name. Yeah. Well, possibly a couple of chaps undercover with a cast-iron reason for investigating the circus and... Um, and having a quick look at the acrobat at the same time. Huh? Precisely. Circuses. <laughs> what fun. Terrific. We'll probably get a job cleaning out their cages. Of course, if I'd been on my other horse, I would have ridden him down. Uh, no doubt, my lady. <laughs> but on a bicycle. I rang my bell, but nobody heard it, of course. You don't much riding. No, not for some time, my lady. Are we getting anywhere near the scene of the crime? Oh, yes. It was just by the tracking station boundary. Ah. I've seen the mine. Horses. Ponies. Come 
my friend. Brave man. Thank you. That was perfect touch. What do you do here? He's looking for a job. He got one. Hey, you. You got a job. Do just what you've done every night. We slay them in the aisles. What do you say? Yeah, terrific. But I think you owe me a drink. I mean, it is a bit worrying when this enormous creature leaps out at one. Mm, must be. Medieval helmet. You know, this bloke must be more than just a bit of an exhibitionist. I understand. He's been popping up all over the country. Mm. So, he must have a dog which takes him all over the country. Excellent deduction, my lady. <laughs> one is an avid reader of pop fiction. Ah. Which leads me to ask you a direct question. Right well, away, ma'am. What on earth is the top Scotland Yard detective doing investigating a case of indecent exposure down here in the sticks? I do believe you can read my mind. Sit in the car park, Bert. Grab a bite. I'll be here about an hour. Want a Nigerian lager, please, darling? I don't think we have any of that. Got some Danish lager, though. Guinness. Change your mind, have you? A Nigerian lager is Guinness. It's a sort of joke. Oh, You're giving you a hard time, though. Half, oh, please. Yeah, can you pay for mine? I've left me purse at home. They make lager in Kenya. I do know that. Yeah, Zimba, they call it. Zimba? Yeah, it's, it means lion. It, it's local lingo. How do you know that? Well, my old man did a spell in the King's African Rifles. You're having me on. Oh. Any joy, George? Yeah, the flash had popped out. At, well, if you'll excuse the expression, right near an early warning station. MOD, keep out incontinent guard dogs, etc. Yeah, that's what the funny people are going on about. No, really? King's African Rifles? I thought they were black. Only, Only they're, they're privates. <laughs> you think we've got straw coming out of our ears? Caught the flash of yet? No, but I'll tell you one thing, dear. What's that? He was not in the King's African Rifles. <laughs> trying to build it up, but we're as much a family as a circus. Is there, uh, is there somewhere we can sleep? Uh, yeah, there's a spare trailer as long as we stopped here. But uh, the prince has got me dad when he took over the show. Yvel, can you take the horses, love? Oh, so you're Hoffman's daughter, then? Yeah, he uh, died last winter. It was an accident with a paraffin eater. You know, it's horrible. How's the prince, Greta? Easy to get on with? Yeah, we're just one big happy family. Flying Pole, you called him Myra. Miroslav Rieshishishka. Old friend of your father's? No, he jumped ship. Polish ship? Is he Romany? <sighs> Look, why all the questions, mate? What is Dante up to? Why involve us in a job that's really down to the special branch or big brother? You're making rings. What? Your beer's making rings on the folder. Now you're beginning to sound like a rubber heel, you know that? Leave it out, George. What's eating you? I'm really pissed off. I think I'll just jack the job in. Well, look at look at the bleeding wages we earn, potsing about all hours of day and night and villains pointing shooters at us. I was talking to Dugdale yesterday about the circus. Why is he involved in the Intercity Squad? Clarence's boys usually use a special branch or at a pinch at the local CID. Clarence? Yeah, tucked down. I thought his name was Bill. There's something in the wind, Dave, and it ain't circuses. That tucked down's up to something. You mark my words. Here, yeah, my friend. What's your first name? Bob. Good. I call you Bobby. Now, Bobby, you are sitting here. OK. Fine. Front row. No, look. Beside the aisle, four rows back, OK? Got it. When the trapeze bar snaps, you jump. Then you're shouting, hello, mate, coming up. Shouting what? In English. I'm shouting, hang on, mate, I'm coming up. Exactly. Hello, mate, coming up. <laughs> we teach you good here. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dugdale, please. Dugdale, will you follow me? Oh, there you are, Jack. Hi, Bill. <clears throat> now, I've, um, <clears throat> I've ordered gin and Angus Jura with water, no ice, and brown Windsor. Sounds fantastic. Long time since you bought me lunch, Bill. Well, I, uh, <clears throat> I recommend the cutlets. The cabbage is first class, too. It's a um, good public school fare. Makes the members feel at home. 
this circus? Aren't we whistling in the dark? It's a tip from a defector whose other stuff is turning up trumps. And no one roots his circus on a round tour of Britain's early warning system without manners of forethought. And you think my squad can help where the branch can't? I don't buy that. Manpower, dear boy. I'm a bit short on manpower myself, Bill. So don't you keep them for a moment longer than you have to. Bullman will sniff them out. Ah, yes. Bullman. Met him before, haven't you? <laughs> Twice. And my head reels from each occurrence. And then it must have been outside the law. <laughs> well, I certainly can't be become embroiled in dialectics. Yes, Thank you. I hear that um, the good sergeant is having a spot in part of a certain shooting inquiry. You don't say. Yeah. Somebody's put the boot in, the black spot. And I hear that the good sergeant, Pullman, will never rise beyond detective sergeant. Word is that George Pullman's thinking of chucking the force. Well, I don't blame him. First class sleuth unrecognized by his masters, poorly paid. I see his point, don't you? The problem is, what's he going to do? He doesn't know anything else except the job. Well, thank God that's not my problem. I'm going down there tonight. The circus? Yes. Thank you. Then it is serious. Oh, yes, dear boy. I trust you never doubted that. Watch it, mate. Oh, I'll tear up my RSPCA card and kick you out of the bum. Am I helping you? Not so far, Squire, but, you know, ferocious dog is a deadly weapon under the axe, you know? Ah, oh, you see, his act. He is very good. Who are you? Borman, Detective Sergeant, CID. Um, uh, and you want what, sir? Well, I want your head man, your leader. I am uh, Vyacheshishka Miroslav. I'm circus management. Oh, well, I'm making inquiries into a number of incidents that have taken place all over the country. And uh, how can we help? The culprit is a well-built man who exposes himself to labor. And? And I've reason to believe he may be a member of this circus. First, I must perform. Please, come and watch. Oh, oh yeah. Don't mm. breathe <laughs> After the Alps, and it's look out, Julius Caesar. I see that the mighty beast does cast your mind back to the jungles of Raoul Pindi. Raoul Pindi doesn't have jungles. Ah. And he's a not Indian elephant. Oh, I thought the African British. elephant had. It's a British elephant, born in Somerset. Good Lord! The circus proudly presents one of the world's strongest men. From Eastern Europe, the mighty El Suprema. My grandfather was a strong man. In a circus? Oh, oh no, 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 not a, not a strong man. A strong man. No, he once lifted a horse up, put it back on its feet when it fell over down the Bulls Pond Road. Ladies and gentlemen, Circus Hoffman proudly presents one of the world's leading blind trapeze troops. Featuring the amazing Flying Prince, Miroslav Vyshishishka. And also the spectacular Flying Pole. Seals are my favourite. Seals. I once saw a seal playing a saxophone. What? I don't think anyone was really quite sure.
Prince is the only trapeze artist in the world attempting this next trick. He will now perform the incredible full twisting two and a half without, ladies and gentlemen, the aid of the safety net. Without a net, Marky. Without a net, dear. How terribly breathtaking. Oh, Sarge Form. We don't get many thrills in the country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miroslav Vyshishka, the Flying Prince. Sergeant Foreman. You know I found myself transfixed, as if caught up in some dreadful nightmare in which if I stayed long enough, I should be treated to the sight of the entire Metropolitan Police Force, arriving in the circus ring like lemmings, and ascending this ladder to perform some Busby Barkley-like chorus in the gods of that, thank you, that moth-eaten big top. It never works. I beg your pardon? Practical coppers and your lot. Well, kindly explain. You know, Bill, there are three things that your average police officer can't stand. One, rubber heels. Two, your really vicious, callous villain. And three, getting involved with a branch are your folk, because all three of these items lead to nothing but grief. But good God, man, that episode last night was a charade. It was a circus, actually. And any members of the opposition who have been used as a cover but either cut and run. What exactly are you up to, Bill? Just a little cooperation, Jack. Do me a favor. And don't give me that chestnut about man purr. It just won't wash. Well, I just thought I could put a little business your way. Nothing more. Nothing less. Why this sudden act of generosity? Well, one has heard about this um, struggling new squad at the yard, the D23, isn't it? The intercity detective, oh, well, I mean. What do you mean? The Association of Chief Police Officers is far too jealous of its independence from Whitehall and the Home Office to tolerate what innocuous or it might seem with Bullman acting the circus clown is in effect the nucleus of a federal detective force. And that dear boy is a complete anathema to the Chief Constable's Lodge. I mean association. You are a divisive twit, Master Dugdale. And that, with no disrespect intended. Now, what exactly do you want from us? Complete the author record, Jack. Aye. Well, we'll see. He's all right. Kettle's boiling. It's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> Chinik is hot. I make hot, strong tea. You say rosy, is correct? Right. Yes? That's it, yes, rosy, rosy lead tea. And uh, Chinik, that's, uh, that's police for teapot, isn't it? Yes. Sugar? Uh, one. A drop of slim with it. Oh, don't mind if I did. <laughs> It was brave last night. 
I'm sorry you have such uh, inconvenient, but brave, like Paul. Ah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, that's just what the doctor ordered. Uh, the other man is my stooge, you know. Oh, yes, stooge. He pretends to be a member of Joe P. Joe P. Yeah, Joe Public, you know. Just a guy off the block, as our American cousins would say that. Well, I mean, he pretends to be just, just, just anybody. <laughs> it's a strange language. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose that Polish is a closed book to the uninitiated. Uh, uh, let me freshen your tea. Yeah. Um, you wish to ask about this man who appears before women? I'll tell you the truth, Miroslav, I sort of got that one under control. It's, a, it's another problem that I'm really here about. So many problems. How can I help him? Well, the fact is that I'm investigating a case of illegal entry into the United Kingdom. Illegal entry? Mm, illegal immigrant. In this camp? In this very trailer, squire. Now, that narrows the field down a bit, don't it? Cheers. Cheers. Not a chance. Are we not being a trifle short-sighted, Jack? I mean, here I am, offering you complete cooperation from Whitehall. What's your point? The point is, Jack, that you chaps are the nucleus of the nearest thing this country will ever have to the FBI. And? Up until now, we were the only fish in that particular pond operating nationwide. Come in. Okay. Oh, hello, Shigan. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's too funny. Oh, fine, thank you. <laughs> Later, please. and the DG is prepared for my people to keep in the closest touch with yours. Then he'd better talk to my boss. Ah, but your wee governor is already trying to shred that 1976 police act. I hardly think that he would be receptive. Oh, that's quite right. He might interpret your offer as interference of the most unacceptable kind. Well, that's a problem with Presbyterians. I'll have to report this conversation to him, of course. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes. What's that about euphoniums? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> now, can I take it that your chaps will be coming off the circus operation? As fast as possible. Pity. And what do I tell my chief? Well... Well, you could always tell him that you were slung out on your ear. that needs a bit of a run. OK, right. I'll be back in about an hour, then. OK. He's a good boy. Have fun. month, nothing but fear, breath smelling of fear, <laughs> hair dropping out, like in partisans. I don't need a forensic report. So what's happening now? Handcuffs, prison, you know deport me. In Poland, it's very bad for acrobats anymore. What's your real name? Miroslav. No, oh, come on, Prince. Don't all you blokes have cover names? Cover names? What is this? Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll give it to you straight. Wyszynski has told us the lot. Now, I'm losing you. So the charge will be one of engaging espionage for a foreign power. I'm not a spy. 
No. It's formality, really. You'll get a 20-year stretch, do six months, and then uh, be exchanged for some Bible peddler from Onga or something. You did come here for Flasher? Nah. We got plenty of them back in the smoke, comrade. Good morning. Good morning. Is that one of the circus ponies? Yes, he is, yes. Oh, I'm Constance Wentworth. How do you do? I've just started at Hoffman's. Oh. Shall we ride a little way? That'd be very nice. I think I'd probably get lost around here. Um, why did you jump ship? I hear they pay better in Britain. For what? For acrobats, of course. No, um, ideological reasons. Average acrobats have not much contact with politics. I'm looking for a big geezer. He's Polish, I think. He's wanted for a crime of violence back in London. He's about six foot odd, weighs 15 stone. No. We haven't men like that. What's that over there? Oh, hush, hush. Top secret MOD tracking station. Oh, great. Although God knows what good it would do to have four minutes warning. Yes, I think I'd rather not know, <laughs> probably. Mind you, if there was an official function and Bambi's, sorry, and Bambi's ghastly sister was there and there was, say, a custard pie to <laughs> hand... Yes, I see what you mean. It would be quite convenient to know that you only had four minutes. <laughs> this time is ours. Charge! <laughs> terribly supreme about you, dear, I can assure you. Right, you're Nick. You don't require to say anything, but anything you do say may be written down and used in evidence, right? Good Lord, you're a policewoman. El Supremo. What's his real name? Higgins. Martin Higgins. Does he speak Polish? Not a word. Either you're lying, mate, or I'm a gum tree. Right. Tell me about Hoffman's paraffin heater. Excuse, please. Paraffin. Kerosene. The kerosene heater that exploded. Killing Hoffman. Put you in charge of the circus. Now, you best tell all, Miroslav. Make you feel better. How did you rig the heater? You think I'm killing Hoffman? You're crazy. He was my friend. He was being my only friend. You know, sometimes I find it very confusing being a sleuth. I'm sorry. It's not like you're reading the comics, you know. I mean... Please. Here am I, down here, been on the face of it, Miroslav, my old mate, to find a, a ruddy sex maniac in a, in a silver lurex cloak. The flushing man. Yeah, precisely. But as you now know, that was just an excuse, a subterfuge, to find a Polish hood. Uh, correction, Polish-speaking hood. Hood? No, I mean, a crook, villain, heavy. Maybe you stop teasing me now, OK? <sighs> OK. What do you want to know? Well, let's stick to the paraffin heater. Ruth Littman. He was not telling me. One day, bang, and my friend Hoffman he dies. It was horrible. Who's Littman? The KGB secret agent. But is he a uh, bald-headed, big bloke? E enormous. Maybe two metres. Two hundred and thirty pounds. He blackmailed me. He said it was against the law for me to work here. When did you jump ship? Three years ago. March 16. Who helped you? Travelling people, like me. How did you meet Littman? Six months uh, after I got a job with Circus. 
I know circus from Poland. Hoffman made me his right-handed man. And Lippmann says what? He says, represent Soviet Union and work for KGB. Doing what? One, taking over circus. Two, taking on Soviet agent as part of circus. Mm. And three, routing the circus on a round trip of top secret defense establishments. Exactly. First I say, two fingers, chum. They tell me, M my sister in Warsaw, and her husband, two babies, you know. Bastards. So, you agreed. Yes, first, well, they had to do a terrible thing. Get rid of Hoffman. Moscow illegals and the flying prince is technically a Soviet agent, no matter what the circumstances. Yeah, poor sod. Yeah, and Vanessa caught the flasher. Yeah, Vanessa caught the flasher. And still, nobody knows who it was who duffed up your snap. Why, oh, you mean Lippmann? Whoever he is. You know, I've got a very funny feeling. What's that, boss? Call me paranoid, but I had a distinct feeling that he was in the big top that night. You know, the night we got stuck off out the ladder. Correction, Gov. You got stuck off out the ladder. Well, my knee was hurting, wasn't it? Some excuses in my tongue. No, he was there, I know it. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. Yeah. What are you going to have? Half a bit of Usual. That's uh, three whiskeys, half a bit of half a draft. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't work things out the way I'd like, but you know. My dear Sergeant, we're more than delighted. I'm also happy to hear the outcome of that shooting inquiry. Yeah, so am I. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Bill. Oh, sir. <laughs> you want a drink? Oh, no, not just now, Jack. I must dash. I just dropped by to say my grateful thanks and to work and to hand out these. Yes. <laughs> Brass band. Yeah. Brass band championship, Albert Hall, 22nd, and I should be playing euphonium. Is there anything left that would surprise you, Sergeant? Oh, there is one thing, sir, just to settle a wager. Uh, does that flower really squirt water? 